guys, I'm back, and the gun is complete now. Hey everybody, the Imperial 23 here, and today I'm doing a gun review on the AK-47 Collision Goth 60th Anniversary Airsoft Assault Rifle. So, let's talk about what comes inside. Alright, so in the box with uh, Mr. Collision Goth on the front cover, um, of course, comes with the gun and a couple other key components. One thing it comes with is a green sling. If you are one to use slings in airsoft rifle uh, battles, I would recommend getting another one because as you see here, it broke. Um, I'm not a big fan to use it, but I brought it, I was like, hey, I'll use it. Easier to carry around if I'm using more than one gun, and it broke on me within five minutes. Don't really want a 200 gun, $200 gun dropping on the ground, and that's what happened. Um, another thing comes with the unjamming rod, cleaning rod, shove it down the barrel, you know. Um, one other thing is standard wall charger which takes about five to six hours to charge a battery. I believe for this gun it's uh, between four and five it says just kind of depending on the current and everything. Um, so because of that I recommend a universal smart charger with the nunchuck battery uh, add-on. Takes about an hour to charge the battery and it does not overcharge the battery which is another key thing. These wall chargers you basically have to write down the exact time you plugged it in and take it out exactly five hours later. With the universal smart charger, a little green light lights up when it's done, and it just kind of stays lit, doesn't charge the battery, telling you it's done. So, also with these, there are smart chargers that are compatible for these kind of plugins, these little round plugins. Most smart chargers come with the nunchuck battery style. This, of course, is an add-on. There is a type right there. But this little add-on is what I have to use for the AK collision call. All right, so on the gun, there is a foldable stock. I'm sorry, not stock, a foldable grip. Um, a 550 round high capacity mag. Um, which is plastic, I will say. It is plastic, but it is a good heavy plastic. I believe it's called, it's some kind of rubber, not plastic. Um, it's, it's a good plastic, it's not gonna break on you. And also a foldable stock, which is a fiber. I believe a nylon fiber, but I might be mistaken on that. So there's that, which is also foldable. Press a little button down there and it will fold shut. The whole gun, except for the grip, mag, foldable stock, is metal. It is a nice metal. It is a strong metal. It will not break on you. It is a very well put together, processed, and designed gun. Pros of the gun. The box says 495 FPS. I have clocked it at speeds around that and even higher than that. So 495 is definitely a good average. It is a just about a seven pound gun, which gives it the realistic feel. Not that I've ever held a real AK, you wouldn't know, but I'm assuming seven pounds makes it pretty realistic. Um, its accuracy is phenomenal. And I, it comes with 0.12 gram BBs. Um, I recommend 0.2 gram BBs, but I recommend that with every gun. Um, it does lower the FPS, but it makes it a lot more accurate, so it's better to be shooting a little slower but dead on than flying and never hit your target, so that's very nice. It is a well-constructed gun. I love the feel of the grip. Even when you fold it up, it's still very sturdy. Uh, you are able to adjust it on the bottom railing there. There is a railing up top and an adjustable sight. Just slide this part like so to adjust where you want it now there flip it over here 
Inside here is the hop up. Adjustable hop up, very nice. I use very little hop up on this because it does shoot straight and it does shoot far on its own. Now there is safe mode, automatic, and semi. Um, both of which are very accurate. Semi-automatic obviously is a little more accurate than fully automatic, but if you're not just spraying all 500 BBs at once, you'll be okay. Some add-ons I got for it is this 1,100 round high capacity mag. Now these are banana clips, and very easy to put into the gun. A lot of people find that banana clips are difficult to deal with, but on the AK-47, it is very easy to plug in with the Kalashnikov style. Alright, some other things that it comes with are these two gear wind-ups. This gray metal one is for the adjustable sight up front here. Just plug in, turn it, get a nice sight. This other one here, I've been told, read, and researched that it is to wind up the mag. I, on the other hand, have never uh, been successful with that, so not really sure what this one does. But not knowing that what it does hasn't caused problems in any way, shape, or form, so I feel it's probably pretty useless. Now. This gun, because it's all metal, very well put together gun, it comes with a metal gearbox and metal gears. Right there on the box as well. Um, it comes with, I believe, 500 6mm uh, .12 gram BBs, a electric power numbshub battery. Um, it is an automatic electric gun, uh, but you probably could do that. Some things, if in case you want to customize or whatever, some things that do come off the foldable stock can unscrew and unscrews rather easily. It is easy to put on and take off. Um, this outer part of the grip here slides off, revealing some of the metal gears and such. There's a screw right down in there to do so. The grip, as I said earlier, slides off and can be adjusted for a different firmness of the button. There, there's only one top rail, but there's also a bottom rail. I'll see these little atoms on the side. Um, basically, it's the same thing up here. It's just only, it's a, instead of like 12 slots, it's only got one. But definitely good for a flashlight and for a uh, red dot. Uh, or laser. So, that overall is the review for the AK 47 Collision Call 60th Anniversary Edition Airsoft Assault. One other thing is, I bought this gun from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, I got it online because I didn't sell it in stores. It is about the only good gun that they actually sell there that's not extremely overpriced and is extremely well powered. Um, but on airsplat.com, airsoft megastore, stuff like that, I have seen guns very similar to this. They say 475 FPS, which is still phenomenal. And it's about the $200 range, some are about 195 and so on. If you're having a little trouble convincing parents into the uh, $200 region, I get that. That's where I was. But, um, you know, also getting this universal smart charger. Look at it this way, you either spend 30 bucks and save your battery forever, basically, or you hope you don't overcharge it with this until that one time you forget it overnight and you basically have to buy a new $80 battery. So, the 30 bucks is a lot better than the 80 bucks. It's whatever you want. So, this is Game Hero 23 signing out. I will see you guys later. Let me know if you have any other reviews you would like, any paint jobs, camos, uh, just let me know.